during the interwar years, both parts of Belarus would have their own histories. The years after the First World War were everything but peaceful in Central and Eastern Europe. The Baltic states fought for their independence and they gained it. The Ukrainians did as well, but they lost it. And Belarus, that's what we're going to talk about today. Stefan here from History Hustle and I'm standing here in Minsk, the capital of Belarus. After the Napoleonic Wars, Belarus became part of the Russian Empire. Now during this time, Belarusian culture was suppressed, so were uprisings against Russian rule. At some point, even the use of the word Belarus became forbidden. Flash forward to 1918, the last year of the First World War. The Germans managed to capture Minsk in February that year. One month later, they signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk with Soviet Russia. Thus, Belarus came under the German sphere of influence and the Belarusian National Republic was created. 11 November 1918, the First World War comes to an end. The Germans retreat from Belarus. Now, the Red Army marches in and in January 1919, they declare the Socialist Soviet Republic of Belarus. One month later, they establish a new state. They merge Lithuania and Belarus together in the Lithuanian Belarusian Socialist Soviet Republic. In short, the Lit Bell. It's kind of catchy, I give it that. Now, why did Lenin merge the two states together? See, they were pretty fragile and by merging them, they could stand strong. Although, neither the Belarusians nor the Lithuanians had any interest to be merged into one state. But it had happened, because the threat was there. The Polish army advanced east, grabbing as much land as they could to secure the second Polish Republic. And in the summer of that year, they overran the Litbel. Therefore, the Litbel was dissolved. The Poles made it all the way to Kiev, but were pushed back by the Red Army. And one year later, in the summer of 1920, the tide had turned. It was now the Red Army that marched into Poland. There they were defeated at the Battle of Warsaw and they had to retreat. In March 1921, the Peace Treaty of Riga was signed between Poland and Soviet Russia and Belarus was carved up. The western part became part of the Second Polish Republic and the eastern part became part of the Soviet Union. During the interwar years, both parts of Belarus would have their own histories. The western part, now part of Poland, would see the Polonization of the area, with Polish veterans and their families moving into the new land. The eastern part would live on as the Belarusian SSR. It would see a revival of the national Belarusian culture, but also some severe repressions during Stalin's Great Purge. During these years, in the 30s, the Belarusian intelligentsia class was eliminated with many Belarusians shot or deported to the Far East. More terror would await the Belarusians. Make sure you check out next week's video. I'm going to talk about Belarus during the Second World War. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.